Currently, I'm the principal of the Taylor Elementary School uh, in Foxborough. The Taylor School is a small school. Currently, we have 244 students, grades K through 4. I've been there for eight years. We've had quite a bit of change over the eight years. When I first arrived, we had close to 350 children. Next year, I'm anticipating that we'll shrink a little bit more, unfortunately. We'll be moving down to about 235 children in that range. Prior to coming to Foxborough, I was a principal in Hanover at the Cedar School. Um, Cedar School had uh, ranged from 550 students to 650 students during my tenure there. I was there for three years. Um, I was on that point of deciding to relocate my family closer to school, uh, and an opportunity arose in Foxborough with a team that I had some previous experiences with that was just too great of an opportunity and too exciting um, to work with a team that I truly valued, so that's why I made that transition. Uh, prior to Hanover, I was uh, co-principal at the Jordan Jackson School in Mansfield, which is a school of third, fourth, and fifth graders, approximately 1,300 children in that school. Um, I was co-principal for two years, assistant principal at that same school for three years prior to that. Um, before that, I was a third grade teacher. Um, as a third grade teacher, I loved every single day of being in the rooms of the classrooms. It was a tough transition at the beginning to, to lose that all day daily contact with children. Uh, but I realized that I, I loved working with people. And as long as I still had that contact with children, I was having my professional needs met on a daily basis. All right. So what attracted you to Hopkins over in Hopkins? So the Hopkins School, it was, it was a tough decision, uh, as I'm very happy where I am right now. Um, but it was actually a, a conversation with my wife where she asked me about uh, my happiness and my professional happiness at work. And she recognized that the last few years... I don't talk about school as much at home over dinner. And she was telling me how excited she used to be to hear all the stories about school. Um, and she pointed out that the last time she really heard me talk at length about schools were at times where I either had an intern working with me or when I've been in larger schools where I had assistant principals back at the Cedar School and in Mansfield. Um, and at the end of the conversation, she asked me what I was going to do with this information. And I told her I, I needed to think uh, because I was very happy where I am. Uh, two days later, I told her that she was right. Uh, she had some, some great insight for me and that I, I would look and that if I felt there was a perfect match for uh, the values that I have and the, the work that I feel um, I do on a daily basis and what that could add to a uh, school in the community, uh, then I would apply. It was not soon after that that I had, I had read about the Hopkins School. Um, I know some about the town and, and was able to learn more quickly. And as I read about the school and saw the focus on teamwork, it was something that spoke to me um, of where that is my emphasis. And that's what I thoroughly enjoy is building teams, working with teams, uh, being able to sit back and let teams function and grow and take responsibility. Um, but also with my own struggle of, of for the last eight years of not having a teammate and being an administrator of one in a school and not having someone to bounce ideas about, someone to share the work with, someone to share the ideas, the successes, the challenges, all of those aspects, um, I, I realized that uh, the, the Hopkins School would be the perfect match as, as a school that celebrates teamwork. Hi, my name is Vanessa Bellello and I'm currently the assistant principal at Hopkins School. My background is in special education. I, after graduating from Wellesley College, I went to Boston College um, and got my master's degree in special education and has spent most of my career as a special educator, both in California, in the Palo Alto Unified Schools, and then in Franklin, Massachusetts. So I've worked with students K through eight as a special educator and um, did my principal internship at Annie Sullivan Middle School in Franklin before coming to Hopkinton. Yeah. All right. So uh, what made you want to uh, hop into the assistant principal role? Um, I've spent my career both Brookline, Palo Alto, and then in Franklin with some amazing principal mentors and seeing the power of building a school, working with parents, working with students, and working with staff to build a culture. And that's the excitement of being a principal, that you get to work with all of those people to build a building into a community. When did you decide when you, that you wanted to be a principal? Was it like the first few weeks you were an assistant principal? Or was it a few months down the road? Well, you know, the last two years of being an assistant principal has been amazing. And, um, you know, 
as an assistant principal, you have contracts thinking about, is it time to move on? The hardest thing was the idea of leaving Hopkins. I, I loved the community, I loved the students, and I loved the staff there. And so was hoping that I could stay on. Didn't know that this opportunity would present itself, um, but when it did, it was very exciting because I get to, you know, I would get to stay at Hopkins and be there with the teachers that I have um, so much respect for and the students who are just amazing to work with every day.